three children, two of whom have a neurodevelopmental disorder. And um, so when our children were diagnosed, um, I think like a lot of parents, we just started Googling and trying to find out more information and trying to know more um, about what this was. We have to ask the right questions and answer the right questions. And sometimes when we get kind of isolated in our science silos, we may go down a pathway that may not be relevant to the families and the patients affected. So they keep us real and they make sure that we do the work in the areas that are of most significance to them. A lot of these disorders are spectrum disorders, you know, and so we always sort of joke that if you know one kid with autism, you know one kid with autism. Participating in something like this enables the researchers to get a much uh, broader and more generalized perspective of what the day-to-day -day life is like and that means that they can then focus their research in terms of tangible benefits. What matters to us as families and, and what, where do we see the most benefit? And that enables the researchers to take that priority and not on a one-on-one -on -one conversation, but in a very you know, formalized, specific way. And this is something really proactive that you can do to empower yourself. And now that my children are older, to help empower my children so that they feel that they are able to make a difference and they're able to contribute and they're able to help.